T for Memphis. To Lou Griffin. Back deep to return for the Bulldogs. And we are underway in Starkville. And this is going to carry through the end zone for a touchback, and the Bulldogs will start at the 25 yard line. So Rodgers, 306 running back. You'll see a lot of that tonight up to Memphis to stop it. After the seven yard game, the first run, and it's Woody Marks picking up the first down. An excellent pass catcher, but he can also run when he's called upon. He, he can, and this is not an offense that runs a lot, but they're good enough at it where you got Marks again in the backfield to the right of Rodgers on the opening series for Mississippi State. Rodgers quickly out to Thomas again, the sophomore from Ufala, Alabama. Quickly into plus territory, out at the 47. Ladarian Polk got him down. Good job by Rodgers, counting the numbers. The primary Defensive play caller last year. Second and ten. Rogers backpedaling a bit. Dumps it off short. Johnson. This is a potential tackler at the 40-yard line and dives ahead to the 35 for a first down. Has to do a lot in this offense. Johnson stays in a pass protection. Flares out. Hippie the check down. Johnson steps out of a tackle. Inside the 30. Dives to the 25-yard line. Mississippi State almost 46% last year on third down, and they convert here. Third best in the SEC last year in converting on third. Five. Rogers on the slant to Thomas. Somehow he holds on. Gets out of a tackle. It's a sprint. Touchdown. What an effort by Thomas. This is an offense, Clay, that's looking for that stud wide receiver, someone that can come in and change a game. And early on in this one, Massimo Biscardi, grad transfer from Coastal Carolina, taps up the extra point. But good looking player, high football IQ. He can sling it around. They'll go three wide, start for the 23. Play fake, rolling out. Hennigan, complete. You'll find Gabe Rogers. And it's got some game-breaking speed. He gets the first linebackers. They love to do it. Here it comes. Picked up nicely, but now Hennigan dancing a bit. Tucks it down, and he's going to get hit. Boogie Watson again. Number 14. And he really found his home at middle linebacker. Now, can Memphis make Will Rogers run a little bit too tonight? Certainly not his forte. Again, a quick release. And get it out to the 25-yard line. There's Jaden Wally, his first catch of the year. Two-time All-SEC, their top returning receiver, number 11. I'm going to go back to what you did last season. Marks and Johnson in the backfield. To either side of Rodgers, he'll go to the near side, and that's caught to Lou Griffin. And he's got a first down across the 40-yard. Third down and 10. Try and convert for the second time on third down. Rodgers over the middle and a man wide open. To Lou Griffin, another big play. First down in plus territory. It's a great job of Will Rogers hanging in there. And this is the danger of just dropping eight. You only rush three. Stayed in the parking lot in their cars or gone home. Now here's Dylan Johnson again on the swing pass. Cuts it back up. And he's going to be stopped about a yard short of the first down line. The gain, it'll be third and short as we go down to Don Depp. Yeah, Clay, earlier, and <laughs> yeah. it is definitely much quieter. I think it's a great point to get a chance to kind of regroup and thin this hometown crowd out a little bit. There's a dive play. Dylan Johnson straight ahead for the first down. First down from the 32. It's Johnson again. Get to the edge. He's got the first down. Boy, great speed on the wet turf cut in the corner. Either side of Will Rogers, who's 9 of 11, passing over 100 yards already. He'll go over the middle. Has a man, but is caught at the 10 yard line. That's an 11 yard pickup for Jim. It will be Marks. And right into the teeth of the Memphis defense. And now this Tigers defense needs to bow their back here. Already just out of the transfer portal. I feel they're going to be better on this side of the ball. Some pressure. Second down a goal. 
Rodgers, touchdown. A nine-yard touchdown pass to Wally. And even though there was pressure bearing down, Rodgers was cool, calm, and collected. You said it, partner. They brought a blitz off the offense's right side. And with that football. That didn't your point to make it 14 to nothing. Here's another look at the scoring flow. You can see the pressure come off the offense's right, but look, didn't get happy feet, hangs in there. Just finds a little bit of open space. Again, this air raid's all about finding where's the green grass at. The wide receivers go there, the quarterback knows that's where to go with the football. Jaden Wally, who had touchdown catches in six different games left. See what they do right here. They're loading up. A lot of A-gap pressure inside by those linebackers. Defensive coordinator Zach Arnett, he loves to call plays like this. And it's incomplete. Hannigan put it right on the hands of his man, but it can't be caught by Eddie Lewis. And that pass was going to be a couple of long touchdown drives. 75 yards and 88 yards. Now they're ready to start their third from their own 25-yard line. And that pass is picked off. Will Rogers throws an interception. Really and the there is the guy you talked about. Wendell Johnson. Huge player, two-time American Conference selection. And oh, a little bit quicker than he wanted. And then Quindell Johnson made him pay. Here she's just kind of lurking that side there. They bring six. Got to get the ball out. Receiver doesn't know the ball's coming. And I think that thing just was released a little bit quicker than Rodgers wanted. And pressure, it's hard to bring pressure in exotic looks when you're up to the line so quick. Third down and five. Hannigan locks it up, and it's incomplete intended for Markel Jones. That was pretty well covered in the secondary. Now here's Chris Howard, Florida transfer. And his first field goal attempt of the year is good from 42. And Memphis is able to get... They need the 49-yard line. Good pocket. The pass is caught. That is complete for a first down. Rufus Harvey. You know, when Leach talked to us this week, he said, you know, that wide receiver group, I'm waiting for someone to emerge. It'll, yeah. it'll be a big night as everyone's going to be on display and auditioning for their jobs. But so far, they've kind of been average. Another good catch. Ra Ra Thomas already a touchdown tonight. More than he wanted to really affected his accuracy, which is a big part of his game. Here's Rodgers at second and eight. Fakes the throw to the right. Rolling across his body. Throws it downfield. Dangerous pass, and somehow that is caught. Caleb Ducking inside the five-yard line. 6'5", 205, using his frame for a 32-yard game. Will Rodgers heard us talking about, how hey, can he move in the pocket? This is a great job. Look, he keeps the eyes downfield, sidesteps, off the run, thrown away from his body, finds his, finds his sixth doorstep. There is in the slot now at the bottom of your screen. And he'll jump ball. And to throw it into the end zone. Some contact, and yep, flags come in. That was ducking who he was looking for. And that could be our first penalty of the game. Cameron Smith. Marks is in the backfield. He's not going to get the call. It is going to be a throw and incomplete. He's been active here in the first half. And Ra Ra Thomas, the top of the screen there. A favorite of Will Rogers. Second down and goal. Rogers throws. It is caught. And right at the goal line. Number. I'd like to see him run the ball here, play. See if they can. And they do. That's a touchdown for Marks, his first of the year. It's like they hurt you, Rocky Gordon. That took a few cracks, but they get in there from one yard out. Jaquavius Woody Marks. Yeah, they, they were just getting... As Massimo Biscardi, the transfer from Coastal, comes on for the extra point. The load. Got to get back to that. Well, Jay Decker, transfer from Northern Illinois, checks in at running back. Hennigan flushed out of the pocket on the run, thrown behind his receiver. Is that caught? No. And it's going to be fourth down, intended for Anthony Lanfear, one of the Jersey 16 of 21. 181 yards, couple of touchdowns. He's been intercepted. He's looking to throw again. He'll swing it out. Here's Marks. 
one of the best receiving running backs in this conference and around. And he is content to take it over and over and over and over again and not get impatient and just wait for you to bring someone up and then they hit you deep. They go four wide and they're going to pick it up. And a pass to Jameer Calvin. Stay years ago. On first down, a little play fake. Rodgers again, short pass. Here's Marks. And the catch and run into plus territory. Lowers his shoulder at the 45. That's a gain of a dozen for Woody. Cullens and Canton Arku combine on the tackle. And what you see, see, when the guy's wide open, do you get him the football? And Will is one of the best at it. There's his sixth straight completion. It's Calvin again. Inside the 35-yard line, Smith knocks him out. They'll move him in. 74% completion percentage is, is great. Second down and 10 from the 34. Here's Simeon Price. First time he gets a touch tonight. Redshirt freshman out of Pensacola, Florida. He's the number three running back behind Marks and John. I'm going to bring some pressure here. The offense is right side. Collins. Rogers getting some pressure from the back side. He's going to throw it away. Jalen Allen got in there. Now a flag comes in. And this appears to be going against Memphis. Holding number 24, defense. About the distance to the goal. Automatic first down. That's Greg Rubin. He was third in the conference in passes defended last year. Outstanding sophomore out of Memphis. But he's called for the holding and now a big couldn't beat themselves. That really hurts. Rodgers incomplete. Was getting heated up, tried to. It's a good idea to consider that again here on second down. Dylan Johnson, junior running back out of Greenville. He'll pass protect the throw to the end zone. There's another penalty flag. This is going to be another pass interference call. Actually, no, I, I think that was Defense. away from the pass. Yeah, it was uh, Greg Rubin again. And that's unfortunate because they had a free rusher. You see at the bottom of the screen, William Whitlow was untouched. You see Greg Rubin. In. So first and goal again. Rodgers lofting one to the corner. And it's just out of the reach of his man. Intended for Harvey. Darian Pierce. They're in close quarters here inside the red zone. Second down and goal to go. Rodgers. Doesn't have a rushing touchdown yet in this season. Just one in his career. Was trying to pick his way to the goal line, but Andrew Jones cut him down. Let's see if they get their communication down before the snap. Handoff to the goal line. Did he get in? Yes. Touchdown. Woody Marks. His second touchdown, but there is a marker down on the field. Over on the far sideline, a penalty flag. Yeah. Touchdown. That's going to go against Memphis. It gets to three. Wow. This has been a dominating half for the Bulldogs. Some revenge from last year's loss up at the Liberty Bowl. And Woody Marks has a two score night. This game, that's not going to happen again. Certainly it's on no side of that right now with a 20, 28 points and a 25 point lead. Hennigan got it to his tight end and it's incomplete. Kate Priestcorn. Junior out of Michigan. Two fouls on the play both during the return. Holding number 26 return team. That penalty declined. Illegal block in the back. Number 22 return team. 10 yard penalty from the spot of the foul. First down, Mississippi State. Second half adjustments, though. Yeah, he, he was actually an offensive coordinator, an offensive coordinator in an air raid scheme at West Virginia Wesleyan. He's ducking. He'll duck to the 40-yard line. As the first half comes to an end. Boy, that was a long one. <laughs> uh, just have not seen that playmaker emerge, and defenses can just settle in on him.
Ben Rabin a short kick and then stumbling across the 15-yard line. Asa Martin. And so it's going to be a long... See if Zach Garnett dials up the blitz. The pressure comes right up the middle. Hennigan on the crossing route is complete. And Eddie Lewis makes the catch, but Jet Johnson quickly wraps him up well short of the... Yeah, I, I, I haven't been able to get those pounds. <laughs> Third down and one... And there is another third down conversion. They are eight for eight tonight as he crashes inside the 45-yard line. They're going to bring the house here on defense. Rodgers taking a deep shot. We haven't seen this yet. He's got his man. Touchdown. Caleb Duckett. 35 yards, what a pretty play call. And ducking. Bring the house, a little check at the line of scrimmage by Will Rogers, and then how about a six foot five wide receiver? Put it on the money. First touchdown of the year for ducking. The extra point is good. Yeah, the ducking. Oh, that spring, he flipped the switch, had this killer instinct, looked his guys in the eyes, just natural leader. Not seeing any of that right now on the sideline. Body language is not good. You can sense the frustration out of him when he's communicating with his teammates. Yeah, I, I agree with you, Don. Just, just watching him last year. He may have played well. I'm going to bring the house. Picked up well, but that should have been caught. Would have been a big play. Memphis needed one, but it's dropped by Eddie Lewis, the senior out of Harlem, New York. How do you think he's going to do in Baton Rouge? I, I think he'll do well. I mean, he's always recruited well. I think he's a great coach. You know, I, I think a lot is made of how he exited both Cincinnati and Notre Dame. And, uh, so, I don't know. I think he'll do well down there, though. I really do. After the catch by the tight end pre-score that gets him to midfield. Here's Memphis into plus territory for the first time in a long time. And there goes Jay Ducker, last year's MAC Freshman of the Year. And he gets the first touchdown of the night for the Memphis Tigers. A run of 50 yards. And it happens on this play. And we talked about needing a spark. Some playmaker to step up and just looks like last year at Northern Illinois just you know he's not like an exceptionally explosive guy but he and Chris Howard who had a field goal back in the first quarter banks on the extra bossing game also has four catches for 25 first down Mississippi State is Dylan Johnson will move the sticks but uh, what a luxury to have another not even a, a, a backup running back he, he is very much a first-team running back doing a good job Austin Williams the veteran went in motion and they're gonna go to the check down receiver Rufus Harvey he's a little 5'10 165 pounds Mike Leach just praises this wow. right pressure off the edge a little blitz coming Rogers read it steps up to avoid a sack but he is Knocked down short of the 50-yard line anyhow. No nope. emerge here. Can the Tigers convert on third down? Hasn't happened yet tonight. They need the 25. Hannigan rolling to his left. Throws. Has a man open. It's caught for a first down. Out across the 40-yard line. That catch made by Gabriel Rogers, the senior out of Jackson, Mississippi. That throw got a little pep in the step of Hannigan. Good job rolling out. Five. 25 a season ago and now a penalty marker and a false start. False start, number 75, offense, five yard penalty, still third down. And again, will tuck it. And he's blown up at the 50 yard line. Jed Johnson. Who has been all over the field, number 44, laying the wood. A good, clean hit. That's fourth down and short. Memphis will go for it. And I don't think they're going to get it. No. My goodness. Third ranked 
rush defense in the SEC last year stands tall, and they'll take over at downs. Including the defensive coordinator, Matt Barnes, who just had a tough time tonight slowing Will Rogers and company down. Rogers to the outside, man wide open. Antonio Harmon, his second catch. The opposing team, that's not fun. He's Rocky Boyman. I'm Clay Matvick. Don Davenport down on the sideline. Second down and six. There is the 31st completion by Rodgers tonight. And Tula Griffin as Mississippi State knocking on the door again. He's got a couple of touchdown runs tonight. A little sore. Uh, that pass nearly intercepted. It's a backwards pass. That ball is live, I believe, and it's picked up. And it's going to be Memphis football. Andrew Jones got a paw on it, and Quindell Johnson number covered by the defense. That was close. It could have been a forward pass there. It got batted down so early. Three under our net. They're going to bring that linebacker. There it comes. Hand off. Pushing the pile across the 40 is Ducker. The strength of the sophomore out of Bellevue, Nebraska. Should get him comfortable. Seth Hennigan out of Denton, Texas. Has a man wide open. It's Martin and he hits him in stride. Asa Martin down the sideline. Breaks a tackle. Gone to the end zone. Did he step out? Yeah, he's going to be marked out. Just inside, just outside the 15-yard line. Total breakdown in Mississippi State's defense. Looked like somebody, might have been Bookie Watson, should have had the wheel route by the running back out of the backfield. And he didn't go cover him. And that's like stealing right there. Jalen Green was able to get him along the sideline and bump him out. Showing a blitz up the middle. Thomas. Good job picking up that blitz. A man open in the corner. Touchdown, Tigers. Seth Hannigan with a great block from Brandon Thomas on the blitz, able to hit Eddie Lewis for the 15-yard touchdown. Best play of the night for He did. You're staring down the barrel. That You know that pressure's coming. Hits him right in the face. You see the receiver get behind Emmanuel Ford right in that corner. Three receivers to the top, one to the near side. Single setback with Hennigan. Hennigan getting rushed. Throws to the back of the end zone. It is almost intercepted by Emmanuel Forbes. So the two-point attempt fails, and it's 35-16 with 10 third. Son of a coach. His dad, Wyatt, was his offensive coordinator at Brandon High School just outside of Jackson, Mississippi. Third down at five, so good. Getting it to Rufus Harvey tonight has been Will Rogers. They have really found a connection. Needed a first down, gets it to Harvey. Johnson makes the stop, but they'll move the chains again. Huge first down. Again, just found a little space right in the middle of that defense. There's Quindell Johnson, but he's just a little bit too got running backs like Johnson and Marks. You can break tackles. Oh, another good move after the catch. Ra Ra Thomas, a big play. We'll get it to the 31 of Memphis. Thomas had that early touchdown in this game way before the lightning delay. And now a little lightning again here in the fourth quarter. It's been about five hours since he's made a play, right? Big on that opening drive, but it's a great job. Snatch that ball out of the air, make one quick move, boom. Hit it. Just shoestring away from breaking a long one. In the mix to be a huge factor at that X position. Turnovers leading to Memphis points. Which have been hard to come by this evening. Deep pass, that's going to be a touchdown. Rufus Harvick, right down the hash marks. Fourth touchdown pass for Will Rogers tonight. This one a 33-yard strike. Conduct, number 82, offense. That 15-yard penalty will be enforced on the kickoff. That is number 82's first unsportsmanlike. That's going to be a celebration penalty on Harvey. It's a good job by Rodgers reading the safety. Rodney Owens. Owens came up a little bit on that play action, and Rodgers knew he had him beat. 
gets in tucked in right behind him for the touchdown. Starkville native with his first touchdown catch of the year. Scardy, another extra point, and it's 42 to 16. At Arizona next week and at LSU. Here bouncing to the outside and getting into plus territory. Brandon Thomas with that run. Here's Hennigan. Aaron went out. There's contact. That's going to be pass interference. Gabe Rogers was knocked down by Dylan Lawrence. Back of safety, getting some time here in the late minutes. Holding defense number 24. 10 yard penalty. Automatic first down. And you know, get a consolation touchdown here late. Right up the middle, Jay Ducker. And that's going to be a first down. Really like Jay Ducker. I do too. It's exactly good for them. Yeah, I think that inexperience hurt them tonight coming into this place early on. Getting close to the goal line, it's Ducker again. Picked fifth in the American Conference preseason poll. Houston three are going to be in the Big 12 next year. Hannigan's going to keep it, and he's got it in for a touchdown. Seth Hannigan. Touchdown run from a yard out. Turn it to tonight. Let's try to finish on a positive note. Try to get that offense going. Onside kick coming up here from the Memphis kicking unit. Grant puts it in play, and Mississippi State's going to have it. But a flag comes out. Did that go 10 yards? I don't know that it did. And then Austin Williams recovered it. You've got to have a bunch of guys making plays at the wide receiver position. That's a good start for them here tonight. You'd think they'd run it to burn some clock, but that's no. not their M.O. They're going to pass it. They're an air raid team, and it's Antonio Harmon with another kick. The guy can sling it. Yeah, Mike Leach has always given his quarterbacks a lot of pre-snap discretion. Will Rogers very good at that. And there he's got a man wide open. It's a touchdown. Touchdown, Justin Robinson, the Georgia transfer. It is his fifth touchdown pass and to five different wideouts. I think Will Rogers and Mike Leach took exception to Memphis calling a timeout right there and said, you know what, if you're going to do that, we're going to put some more points on the board. First catch for Robinson as a Georgia, or excuse me, Mississippi State Bulldog, the former Georgia Bulldog, takes it in. He only had th two catches last year for Georgia. And it's 49-23. So now 12 different wide receivers have caught passes. A touchdown play that he couldn't get under. That's a good run to the 45-yard line for Asa Martin. And then the ball pops out, and it looks like Mississippi State has it, do they? Yes, they do. That's a really on the field. It's Memphis fumble. turnover. Shot Preston Robinson. on the recovery. Let's get a look at it here. See if he was down. That ball is out. Jordan Davis, the defensive end, knocked it loose. What a great job by Jordan Davis. The guy who missed it all last year. Love to see those defensive linemen. Everyone's always giving the benefit of the doubt to the other guy, and he keeps answering the bell. Sawyer Robertson, cousin of former Auburn quarterback Jared Stidham, who's now with the Raiders. I mean, uh, Robertson could have an impact at some point this season. Mike Leach hopes not, because Will Rogers is the man, especially after tonight. What a night. 450 yards passing, a new career high for Rodgers. Five touchdowns, didn't throw the one interception. But boy, he and the air raid looked sharp in week one. Despite a long weather delay, that didn't affect them. They Fine. came right back Fine. after the timeout and hit the ground running. I'm glad you mentioned that because, yeah, sometimes you know, a two-hour and 15-minute delay, you got to get out of sync. 
They picked up right where they left off and minus a few little things here and there, that offense absolutely.